Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now we are going to see another uncertainty handling mechanism that is the fudgy logic. Already we did the videos on the fudgy logic in our channel. Just go through that. How to handle a fudgy set? What are the membership functions? How to do the fudgy set operations? And all these things I uploaded the videos on this fudgy logic. Here theoretically I am going to explain what are the fudgy logic, what are the fudgy inference rules and all. So let us see the concept. So it is an approach to formal treatment of the uncertainty. So um, that means it is one of the good mechanism to handle the uncertainty. It relies on the quantifying and reasoning through natural language. Fudgy logic always depends upon the natural language statements. Uh, so it is used to quantifying the natural language things. Okay. So it rejects the underlying concepts of an excluded middle. Things have a degree of membership in a concept or set. So what is the degree of membership? The degree of membership means are you tall? Are you rich? How much tall? How much rich? Like that the membership functions it can define. As long as we have a way to formally describe the degree of membership and a way to combine these degree of memberships we can reason. So what is this degree of membership that can be described like this? That is uh, categorization of elements uh, into set describe the membership function associates each element xi with the degree of membership yes. For example it is tall, high tall, low tall or medium tall. Rich means high rich, low rich or medium rich like that it can represent. The possibility measures POSS is x belongs to x that means the degree to which an individual element x is potential number in the fudgy set. It is the combination of multiple premises, the possibility of A and B, possibility of A or B. Possibility of A and B can be described as minimum of possibility of A comma possibility of B. Possibility of A or B is maximum of possibility of A comma possibility of B. So like that the fudgy sets uh, can be represented by using the membership functions. So the degree to which the individual element is potential member in the fudgy set that is uh, the possibility measure. Is it a medium tall, is it a high tall or it is a low tall, is it medium rich or high rich or low rich. Like that we can measure the degree at which it is correct. So that is called as the degree of membership of that particular function. Okay, so this is the, let us see in this example, a fudgy set example that is uh, membership. This membership it is a tall, short and medium. Okay, so membership it is, so medium and tall it can be described as. So 150 that is in between 150 to 200 uh, that lies is the medium and from one be between 150 to 200 the tall will start and as well as the short also will fall under 150 to 200 like this. So this is your fudgy set in between 150 to 200 we are having the fudgy set of the height okay. So this is the membership like this we can represent. So like this uh, we can represent the fudgy set function. So what is the meaning of the fudgy reasoning? In order to implement this uh, fudgy reasoning you need uh, we should have something. So fudgy reasoning like statistical reasoning we are having the fudgy reasoning also. For each variable a defined set of values of the membership it can be numeric 1 to 0. It can be linguistic like really no, no, maybe yes or really yes or teeny, small, medium, large, gigantic and good, okay, bad. And you need to set the rules for combining them good and bad, okay. Such kind of the reasoning is fudgy reasoning. Fudgy reasoning as we told already, as I told already, fudgy logic lies on the natural language uh, things or natural linguistic things, uh, non-mathematical things that relies on quantifying and reasoning through natural language things. So here it is uh, describing uh, the numeric uh, can be linguistic, can be really no, no, maybe yes, real yes, like that based on that it can construct the reasoning. Okay, that is called as the fudgy reasoning. And what is the fudgy inference method? The fudgy inference method uh, combine the evidence across the rules. Possibility, possibility of B on A is equal to minimum of 1 comma 1 minus possibility of A plus 1 possibility of B. It can be enumerated and calculated. And it is the implication according to the min-max inference, also max product inference and other rules. Formal foundation through Lukasiewicz 
logic. It is the extension to binary logic to infinity value logic. So, fudge inference can be calculated as possibility of B on A that is equal to minimum of 1, 1 minus possibility of A plus possibility of B and it can be enumerated and calculated. Some other operations that we make use on the fudge concepts is support set. All the elements with membership greater than 0, the support set, alpha cut set, all the elements with the membership greater than alpha, height, maximum grade of membership, normalized height is equal to 1. Some typical domains, those are control, pattern recognition, and infrared, diagnosis, planning, NLP. All these are the domains where we can apply this fudgy logic and fudgy reasoning things. Okay. So, what are the advantages of this fudgy logic? It is one of the general theorem of the uncertainty and it has wide applicability and many number of the real world applications and natural use of vagueness and empirical concepts. What are the difficulties of the fudgy logic? Membership functions can be difficult to find and understand and multiple ways for combining the difference and problems with long inference chains. How the problems with uh, uncertainty factors and the dumpster shop theories we have as theories we have observed here also the same kind of the problem that is problems with long inference chains. Okay, so all these are the problems with this uh, fudgy logic. So what is the fudgy logic? Uh, actually, it is a one of the good mechanism to handle the uncertainty comparing to dumpster shop theory and as well as the certainty factor rules, your fudgy logic is a very good mechanism to handle this uncertainty and uh, quantifying the natural language. Um, it is one of the non-mathematical form to describe the tall, rich or not. So what we describe a range that is tall, short, medium, tall like that the membership function can be described as and uh, then one then the fudgy set can be represented like this that is short medium and tall and fudgy set versus crisp set crisp set already i explained in my previous videos crisp set means uh, that is either zero or one okay the class that lies in either zero variable or one variable whereas fudgy set means it lies in the interval of the zero comma one okay so that is the difference between the fudgy set and as well as the crisp set and the fudgy reasoning in order to implement the reasoning uh, we use these uh, membership functions can be numeric okay and fudgy inference methods these are the fudgy inference methods and some additional fudgy concepts like this so please go through my past videos of the fudgy set i have uh, uploaded so many number of the videos on this fudgy logic so if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all thank you